Hello, allow me to introduce you to the RAID 2.0 Plus technology employed in our Huawei storage products. This presentation is broken into two parts. In the first part, I will tell you about the advantages of Huawei RAID 2.0 Plus. In the second part, I'll explain to you how Huawei RAID 2.0 Plus works. First off, let's see what advantages Huawei RAID 2.0 Plus has over traditional RAID. In a traditional RAID environment, the disk failure rate is comparatively high. This means there is a high chance of a service interruption, and it can take a significant amount of time for the storage system to fully recover services. Because of the extremely heavy data and service flows on these networks, the storage system faces a serious performance bottleneck. Huawei RAID 2.0 Plus has been able to overcome the shortcomings of traditional RAID environments, enables the storage system to implement load balancing across disks, quick recovery of data on faulty disks, and to perform quick reads and writes. Load balancing among disks. In a traditional RAID environment, the workload distribution across disks is unbalanced. Thus, disks with a heavier workload are more prone to failure. This reduces system reliability. By contrast, in a Huawei RAID 2.0 Plus environment, workload is evenly distributed across all disks. This significantly reduces the disk failure rate and improves overall system reliability. Quick recovery of data on faulty disks. When a disk fails, in a traditional RAID environment, only the other disks in the same RAID group participate in reconstructing the faulty disk's data onto a hot spare disk. After replacing the faulty disk, the storage system still needs to copy the data back from the hot spare disk to the newly inserted disk. This copyback process is very time consuming. In sum, the data recovery speed in a traditional RAID environment is quite slow. However, in a Huawei RAID 2.0 Plus environment, when a disk fails, all disks in the disk domain participate in reconstructing the faulty disk's data. Compared with traditional RAID, Huawei RAID 2.0 Plus is at least 20 times faster in recovering the faulty disk's data. Specifically, Huawei RAID 2.0 Plus takes only 30 minutes to reconstruct one terabyte of data, whereas traditional RAID needs at least 10 hours. Fast data recovery enables users to use disks of four terabytes or larger in the storage system. Quick reads and writes. In the RAID 2.0 Plus environment, all disks in the disk domain, that is, over 100 disks, are involved in the data access process. This greatly improves the read and write speeds of the storage system. By contrast, in a traditional RAID environment, only disks in the RAID group, that is, approximately a dozen disks, are involved in the data access process. Thus, the read and write speeds of the storage system are comparatively much slower. Huawei Enterprise Storage features million-level IOPS and microsecond-level response speed. This is at least 10 times faster than enterprise storage products using traditional RAID. Now for the second part of our presentation. How does Huawei RAID 2.0 Plus work? To explain the inner workings of Huawei RAID 2.0 Plus as clearly as possible, I will first cover some basic terms, such as disk domain, storage pool, hot spare capacity, and LUN. A disk domain is a physical storage space consisting of multiple disks. Some space of a disk domain is used to create storage pools, and other space is used as hot spare space. In a storage pool, multiple LUNs can be created. After being mapped to hosts, the LUNs are ready for data access. Now I'll describe the underlying virtualization used to implement Huawei RAID 2.0+. A disk domain contains one or multiple types of SSDs, SAS disks, and NLSAS disks. A storage system can accommodate multiple disk domains, over which fault isolation is implemented. Disk space in a disk domain is divided into 64 megabyte physical spaces using block virtualization. Each physical space is called a chunk, abbreviated as CK. In a disk domain, Users can create storage pools. A storage pool consists of multiple CKs from different disks in the disk domain. Users can create multiple storage pools in each disk domain. Each storage pool can contain CKs from one or multiple disk types. In a storage pool, CKs of the same type can form a chunk group, or CKG, according to a RAID policy. Users can choose an appropriate RAID policy for a CKG, 
according to the network's service requirements. In a storage pool, a CKG is divided into multiple extents. An extent is a logical space smaller than a CK. The size of an extent is not fixed and can be adjusted. The default size is 4 megabytes. An extent is the basic unit for space allocation, space reclamation, data statistics, and data migration. In a storage pool, users can create multiple LUNs. Each LUN consists of multiple extents. The extents of one LUN can be of the same type or of different types. Users can adjust the capacity of a LUN dynamically according to the network's service requirements. For example, if the initial allocated capacity of a LUN does not meet the service requirements, users can apply for new extents to expand the LUN capacity. Storage space in the storage system is mapped to hosts by LUNs. Now, let's see how a piece of data is delivered after a host writes it to a LUN. When it reaches the LUN, the data is distributed to multiple extents. Since the extents come from multiple CKGs across the storage pool, the data is distributed over multiple CKGs. Since each CKG consists of multiple CKs from different disks, the data is evenly distributed across all disks in the disk domain. Based on this even distribution of data, all disks in each disk domain are effectively load balanced among each other and can respond to data access requests, resulting in quick data reads and writes. In addition, because data is evenly distributed, all disks in a disk domain participate in data reconstruction when a disk fails, resulting in comparatively quick recovery of the faulty disk's data. That's all for our introduction to Huawei RAID 2.0+. If you want to know more about Huawei storage products, visit enterprise.huawei.com. Thanks for watching. Oh.